What's up everybody, my name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can convert your Photoshop file to HTML. It's super simple using the extract tool by Adobe. Now you need to have an Adobe Creative Cloud account. So I have this Photoshop file, I just save it in my computer. You can see I have like the layers and everything. Now I'm going to my Creative Cloud account and here in my assets, I have a folder named PSD to HTML and it says that I can drag my files here or I can just upload them. So I'm just going to drag my PSD file there and I have it right here in this folder. It's called the boat PSD. So I'm just going to drag it in there and you can see that the, the file is right there. So I'm just going to click on it. And here we can see that we have some details like the type, um, date modified, the size, the width and everything. But you will see here something called extract. So I'm going to click there. And now look at this. I'm going to click on the text. And now we have something interesting like we have copy the CSS, copy the text. And you can see here that we have all the CSS from the text, like font family, the color, the size of the font, the font weight, and is aligned to the center. So text align center. That's perfect. That's all I need for this text. So I'm going to go to my text editor. And right now all I have here is a very basic HTML uh, file, you know, with just like title. Um, I have a style.css. Then the only thing that I have there is the box sizing and that's it nothing more so right here in the body what I'm gonna do is because my Photoshop file is is just like a photo and two paragraphs so I'm gonna go there I'm just gonna create an image tag all right for now empty I'm gonna create one paragraph tag and another one below this one. So we have two paragraphs. That's it for now. So I'm going to go back and I need some text. So I'm just clicking here and they are giving us the option to copy the CSS of this text or copy the actual text. So I'm going to copy the text for now. Go back. Let's paste it right here in between my paragraph tags. All right, I'm coming back and I'm going to copy the other one, copy the text. Let's go back, paste it right there. Awesome. But now I need my photo. All right, so let's go back there. I'm going to click there and you will see that you have this little arrow that actually is like, you know, like download this file or whatever. So click there you're going to have an option to change the photo name. So let's say photo boat or something like that. The format of that image, I'm going to choose JPEG. The quality 80 is fine and you can scale it. So it's going to be like double the size or triple the size. I'm going to just leave it like normal size. I'm going to click save. And now this image is saved in my assets right here. So I got my styles, all my layers of my Photoshop file and my assets that I want to use in my file, in my website. So I'm going to go here and you're going to click here on this download icon. All right. I'm going to save that file. And that's it. Now. I have my file saved in my folder right here. You can see it here, the same thing. We have it, we have the photo right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my text editor. And now that I have my photo right here, I can just put photo boat. Save it. Oops. Save that file. Open this file in the browser. Let's open it with, I'm working with Firefox here. Okay. 
whoops, something happened. Wait, wait, wait. Hurry up. Format JPG. All right. Let's go back there. Let's reload the page. And now we have the photo right there. Of course, this is looking super weird because we don't have style. We don't have like, it's not centered. We don't have like an, a container. So let's do that. Let's go back to the text editor. And I'm going to create some kind of, let's say my container, something like that. Let's just close that div here. So all of this is wrapped inside that my container, all right? Perfect. That's all I need. Let's save it. Now let's go to the style CSS or whatever CSS um, file you have. And I'm going to create my container. Let's say, I don't know, let's say it's a width of, um, Let's say it's a thousand pixels, for example. Let's margin zero out out so we can center that container. Let's save it and let's see how it looks. Now it's a lot better because we have, you know, a container is centered. So it's looking a lot better. Now we need to add the style that we can get from extract. So let's go back there. Oh, right here. And I need to copy this CSS of this text. So I'm going to, I'm just going to click copy or you can go here to styles and just copy from here. But I think it's very easy if you just click copy CSS from here. Let's go back to the text editor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go my container paragraph tag. I'm going to paste everything right here. All right. Perfect. It's looking great. So let's save that. Let's go back. Let's reload the page. Now is a lot better. It's centered, it's looking a lot better. Now, this image, let's go back to Creative Cloud and let's see the width of this image. It's 1062 pixels. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change it to 100 uh, percentage and then we put a max maximum width of 1062. So let's go there. And let's go to my container image with 100 pixels. Let's save it and see how it looks. So there you go. Now we have 100 pixels, which is right now is getting the whole size of the container. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the max width of 1062 pixels. Okay. So if my container is bigger, let's say 170, which is like the bootstrap container, I'm going to reload and it's going to stay in the size of 1062 because remember if it goes bigger it's gonna get pixelated all right if you're gonna go bigger you need a bigger image so you can save it a double size or something like that so be careful with that all right just letting you know but for now we are good because my container is only a thousand pixels you can click save reload the page and that's it. I just wanted to show you how simple it is to kind of convert your Photoshop file to an, a website HTML using the extract tool. They give you everything you need here. You can copy CSS, copy the text, so you don't need to be like 
going here to Photoshop, getting here, copying the, you know, the text and all that stuff. So everything is simple with this track tool and it's awesome. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.